we have seen about the introduction of abortion the definition etiologies signs and symptoms of abortion and the types of spontaneous abortion in our last video so continuing with that we'll see about each abortion in detail first will be threatened abortion in threatened abortion the clinical features include the following signs and symptoms signs are there will be normal temperature there is no pallor and no hypotension and no tachycardia which are features of shock as the name suggests it is only threatened not a typical abortion so there will be normal temperature no pallor no hypotension no tachycardia in per abdomen the uterus size corresponds to the period of gestation and per speculum examination shows a closed cervical loss and there can be or there might not be slight bleeding through the os and on bimanual pelvic examination the cervix appears to be soft and as we've already seen the size of the uterus corresponds to the period of gestation that is the period of amenorrhea now coming to the symptoms symptoms include a period of amenorrhea and slight colicky pain in the lower abdomen which can be associated with back pain and there can be slight bleeding per vaginum these are the symptoms for any type of abortion amenorrhea slight pain and slight bleeding per vaginum then comes the confirmation of diagnosis is by the ultrasound which reveals a viable pregnancy that is the fetus is still alive which indicates that the amount of bleeding has not affected the fetus and as the name suggests it is only threatened abortion now the management of threatened abortion first the important thing is reassurance reassure the women the pregnant mother if the usg shows viable pregnancy next is bed rest complete bed rest is advised then the next step would be we repeat ultrasound after a week to confirm the continuation of pregnancy to confirm the continuation of pregnancy and if in that repeat ultrasound the fetal cardiac activity is not seen and if the women is not bleeding then the diagnosis of missed abortion is made
if there is bleeding then the women may abort partially or completely and this is managed according to the clinical features the pregnancy which is continued after a threatened abortion is considered a high risk category and there is increased incidence of premature labor and try to train growth restriction and antepartum hemorrhage so all these patients come under the high risk category and they should be monitored accordingly during the antenatal period this is about the threatened abortion let's quickly summarize about the threatened abortion the clinical features signs include there is normal temperature no pallor and no other signs of any shock like hypotension and tachycardia per abdomen the uterus size corresponds to the period of gestation per speculum examination reveals closed cervical os and there can be slight bleeding by manual pelvic examination shows the cervix to be soft and the size of uterus corresponds to the period of amenorrhea symptoms as in any abortion will be amenorrhea slight colicky pain and slight bleeding per vaginum the confirmation of diagnosis of threatened abortion is by the ultrasound which shows viable pregnancy and coming to the management first will be reassurance we reassure the pregnant women next is the bed rest third we repeat ultrasound after one week to confirm the continuation of pregnancy in that repeat ultrasound if the fetal cardiac activity is not seen and the woman is not bleeding then the diagnosis of missed abortion is made and the pregnancy which continues after threatened abortion is considered to be a high risk pregnancy because of the increased incidence of premature labor intrauterine growth restriction and antepartum hemorrhage in such patients so they should be given proper antenatal care and monitored accordingly so this is about the threatened abortion we'll see the other types of abortions in a subsequent videos thank you